my name is Brian Francis, and I am a teacher of English as a Second Language, or ELS, in Indianapolis, Indiana. Today we're going to talk very quickly um, about how to express cause and effect in English. <clears throat> so when we express cause and effect in English, we use two different words depending on the order of the sentence. And these two words are because and so, okay? And I know it seems strange that we use two words, but it's really very, very simple, okay? Before we begin, I would like to start by talking about what is a cause and what is an effect. First of all, a cause means what happens first in any given situation, okay? We're not going to talk about this yet. yet. First, we're going to use the example of the marker, okay? So the first thing that happens, the cause, is I drop the marker. That is the thing that happens first. It is the cause. The effect is the thing that happens second, because of the first thing. So for example, the cause is dropping and the effect is falling. Okay? Now, it, depending on the order of the sentence, we will use a different, uh, a different word in the middle. Okay? So we basically have three possible ways to say this. And for this example, we're going to use the, the, our favorite example of studying hard and passing a level at ELS. Okay? So, the first way to do this is to say, cause, so, effect. When the cause is first and the effect is second, the word in the middle is always so. Okay? So in this example, I studied hard, so I passed the level. This means that first, I studied hard, and because of that, I passed the level. Okay? I studied hard, so I passed the level. Okay? And if it is cause and then effect, so is always the word in the middle. The second case is when we want to say the effect first, okay? And this one is effect because cause. So in this case, we will start with the second thing that happens, not the first, not like so, okay? So in this one, we're going to begin with I pass the level, the effect, the second thing, because I studied hard, the cause, the first thing, okay? And in this, there's one small difference to notice when you're writing these sentences. That there is a comma when the cause comes first, but there is no comma when the effect comes first. <clears throat> so, to review the first two, when the cause is first and the effect is second, the middle word is so. When the effect is first and the, and the cause is second, the middle word is because. Okay? And the third example, which is a little different, but we do still use, is when you would want to start the sentence with the word because, okay? In this case, it still goes the first thing, the cause, the second thing, the effect. But in this case, we can say, because I studied hard, I passed the level, okay? And in this one, we also use a comma. Now, the most important thing to notice about these sentences is that they do not have different meanings, okay? Everything in red is the same. The effect is always the same. I pass the level. It's the second thing, the effect, okay? The cause is always blue and it's always the same. I studied hard. It's the first thing. It's the cause, okay? So to review, the cause is what happens first. The effect is what happens second. And in the examples, we can say, I studied hard, so I passed the level. I passed the level because I studied hard. Or, finally, because I studied hard, I passed the level. And that is the end of because and so in English, something that seems very difficult, but in reality is actually very simple. If you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, you should like it or follow this channel, uh, and we will see you soon.